today I'd like to uh, show you a couple of Arduino projects that I've been working on recently. The first one is this uh, box that I developed on the Arduino uh, One motherboard. And the basic idea behind this box, that, which doesn't have a name yet, um, was to be able to interact in a more natural way with my digital audio uh, instruments and mainly with acoustic instruments such as woodwinds or strings. Um, you know, while sequencing woodwinds or strings or brass on a keyboard, it's okay. Uh, I was missing that uh, dynamic interaction that I would usually get uh, with a real ensemble, for example, to do crescendo or decrescendo. And so the idea was to have um, some proximity sensors uh, detecting my gestures and through my gestures control uh, uh, the parameters of a, of, a, of a sound, for example, dynamics or sample switching, or could be filters, attack, release, and so on. Uh, while there are some uh, keyboards that already have that built in, like uh, some uh, Roland keyboard that have a D beam um, already built in, uh, I found those um, a little bit hard to configure, and only uh, I could only have one available. Uh, while I wanted to have two to control two parameters at the time, so I built this box, uh, which I'm going to show you in details uh, later in the video, that has two proximity sensors and um, it has um, a large LCD display where I can change my parameters, uh, two buttons for parameters up or down, and a data entry button. I also have um, a built-in um, on-off switch for the entire box, and on the side I have a LCD backlit um, adjustment uh, knob. So the idea was that uh, I could control which control changes I would send for each of the two proximity sensors uh, and also I could change the range of each proximity sensor. So as a default they are um, assigned from 0 to 127 but if I wanted a smaller range I could easily change it. Also I have on and off control over uh, each individual of the two proximity sensors. So. Um, Let's dig in and let me show you a little bit more uh, how the parameters work and then how we can use this box to um, work on some patches. Let's go. Okay, let's take a look now um, at how the parameters and uh, the box uh, was built. So here I have my two proximity sensors, one and two, that can detect how far my hand goes. Also, I have two parameters buttons, like an up and down parameter to switch through the parameter I'm editing. I have a data entry button or knob, better, that allows me to change the value of the current uh, parameter that is editing, being edited, and also I have an on-off switch that uh, turns the entire machine on and off. In fact, doesn't turn the power off, but simply uh, turns the data flow off. On this side, I have a, a MIDI out, standard 5 pinned in, and on this side I have a, a backlit controller that allows me to change the the LCD screen. In fact, let me find the best one for this video. So the whole idea is that on the LCD I can control any parameter of the box. I call one and two, the two proximity sensors. And as you can see, on the LCD I have a value one right here and a value two. That's the reading the current reading of each of the two proximity sensors. So if I go closer to one, see I get a lower value and if I let it go I have a higher value. And same thing for proximity two. Also I have a control change assigned to each controller. As a default I set it to 
11 for the first uh, proximity sensor and 2 for the second one. Each one has an on state that can be turned off, so I can turn on and off independently each proximity sensor. And each one has a range that as a default is set from 0 to 127. At the bottom I see the parameter that I'm editing. So for example if I want to jump to uh, edit the uh, control change number for my first proximity sensor, I will simply use the parameter button to go to the next parameter available. Now is indicating control change num number one and I can change it with the value. If I keep pressing this parameter, I scroll through the next parameter, which is the power that I can turn on or off. and so on. Then I can also adjust the uh, level, um, so the, the low um, range of my proximity sensor 1 and the high range. So if I go to L1, now I can change the low range of that parameter and that is going to give me a, a narrower range for my controls and so on. So with these uh, buttons and the data entry, I can control the entire uh, setting of the box. Now let's see it in action. Hi, now let's see how the uh, proximity sensor Arduino device that I built um, can be used to control a woodwind instrument. I'm going to control in this case the sample switching of a Vienna instrument and uh, as we're going to see from the screenshot here um, I'm controlling the velocity crossfade parameter using controller 11 in this case. Okay, so if I play something without the device, it's natural but it's missing the dynamics that I could control with other, with other controllers, for example with controller uh, 11 triggered by a fader. But I don't find it very musical. Instead, I would like to control the dynamics with the gesture of my hand. And so, with this device, I can easily do it. Let's try. A much more musical way to control your acoustic instruments. Now I'm going to demonstrate the use of my controller, the uh, proximity sensor Arduino controller that I built uh, with the software synthesizer where uh, I can control up to two parameters um, through control changes uh, simultaneously. So I'm going to um, launch Massive from Native Instrument and the way I set it up at the moment is to have my second uh, proximity sensor to control the noise color of this soft uh, lead and I set it up the um, first um, controller, the first uh, sensor to control the cutoff frequency of this patch. So of course I can use one at a time, so in this case I can start playing. So I was controlling the cutoff frequency and uh, I can also control the uh, noise uh, parameter. or I can control them at the same time if I want.
So it's very effective, it's very easy to use, and it's very intuitive and very natural. So that's why I built it and that's why I use it so much in my productions. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and I see you soon. Bye.